Hello everybody and welcome to our talk for today. Our readings are John chapter 6 verses 51 to 58 and in the Old Testament we're looking at Job 11 and Job 12. As usual you can pause the talk at this point and read those readings in your own Bible or you can get the readings from the parish newsletter or the parish website or from the Church of England website or if you have a, an iPhone, you can download the app, the Daily Prayer app, free onto your device. Today's Gospel reading, Jesus talks about being the bread of life. And of course, bread is one of the essential foods of many cultures all around the world. It is staple in many diets and for centuries, it would have been one of the most accessible foods for people of all ages and financial uh, wealth and social status. At that point in history, especially in Jesus' culture, bread would have been understood as a nutritional necessity. It would also have historical significance for the Jewish people, harking back to God's life-sustaining manna, which kept the people alive in the desert when they were wandering through the desert. Jesus chose bread as his metaphor intentionally. When Jesus says he is the bread of life, he is saying that he is essential to our lives. And just as the Father provided nourishment in the, the desert, Jesus was providing a path to redemption for mankind, nourishment for mankind. We had been separated by sin through uh, our own sins and Jesus tells us that he is the bread he's the way to redemption he's foreseeing and foretelling his crucifixion without the crucifixion without the resurrection the sins of the world remain unpaid and we remain under the law and so Jesus identifies himself as the bread of life the living water the way all of these things are important. He doesn't present himself as a source of salvation, just one among many. He presents himself as the only way to salvation. Without him, without Jesus, without the bread of life, there's no hope for salvation. By identifying himself as the source of forgiveness and salvation, Jesus makes the path to repentance and a relationship to God, possible, plain, simple and available for everyone. Let's pray. Father, we thank you for your words about you being the bread of life and we pray that we would taste that bread, we would feed upon that bread and that we would be forever grateful that you are the source of salvation and a right relationship with God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you all very much. Goodbye.